Hello, hello. Welcome back to Cooking with Sven. I am your host, Sven. Tonight, we're going to continue on our train of making a dough product. Uh, we've made we've made biscuits. We've made pretzels. We've made pasta. Tonight, we are going to be slinging some pizza, so let's do. Welcome back to Cooking with Sven. Again, I am your host, Sven. You can find me on Instagram, Sven Cooks Food, on Twitter, Fantasy Sven. Be sure to like and subscribe on the In Between Media. Uh, please give us that like. Uh, but be, be sure to subscribe. Every other Monday, we're coming at you. What up, Gary? The Let's go, yup. Uh, tonight, we have a great, great guest. Um, it's been a minute since uh, we interact all the time. You know him on Twitter. As nimble W with numbers, but it's only the W in there. Uh, he's your boy, Scott Simpson. What's up, Scott? Fantasy Sven, how's it going, brother? Thanks for having me it's, on today. Yeah, man, I'm really excited for this one. This is awesome. We were just and we didn't we were just going back and forth, and then you we saw that one pizza, right? Didn't you post a picture and it was like a cucumber and dill and like and I was like, you know what? That actually sounds decent. And then I, we were, and I was like, yo, you want to just do pizza? So it, it was perfect. here we it are. Was, who, who doesn't want to do pizza? And uh, I didn't want to be hack, you know? And so I'm going to make, I talked to you beforehand, I'm actually going to cook up some ingredients to put on the pizza too. So it's not just like, I'm going to go, here's some dough, here's some sauce, cheese done. You know, I'm going to try to do a little bit more work for the people because it's a cooking show. So I want to give them like how I would cook up a nice fat man style pizza for myself. I love it. I love it. Yeah, we'll definitely get right into that. Um, and I also got to give a shout out to my man uh, at Dave Fantasy. He's behind the he's the, uh, the behind the scenes guy. So any any camera changes, anything that you see going on, that's my man Dave. So big ups to uh, big ups to Dave. He'll probably he'll he'll be hopping in. I'm gonna ask some questions a little later because we're gonna get into a pizza talk, and I definitely want Dave to be involved. So we're gonna see his pretty face maybe a little bit later. All right. So pizza, we all love pizza. I mean, it's it, it's no matter what part of the world, I feel like you're going to – there's pizza no matter where you are, right? Like whether it's good, bad, I mean, it's still – it's not it, – you're still going to eat it, right? Like I'm from New York, so I guess I have a different – you know, I'm, I'm my, my New York style, right? So like what's what, – what, what, what's it for you, Scott? You know, uh, I'm not going to say I don't love New York style. I do. Um, but I would say I also like it mixed with a little bit of the Detroit style. So if you if – you okay. If you can pump your pizza up a little bit, uh, you know, I like that. Uh, so I like the crispiness of, of the New York. I love the, the pepperoni and the sausage. So we're going to kind of do a little bit of that. It might just be a little bit more, uh, a little thicker uh, style. We'll, we'll see how the dough rises or doesn't rise. It might just turn out to be a New York pizza anyway. Uh, but I, I do, I worked at a pizza shop for about five years and my favorite pizzas were the ones that were on the bottom that you took out, you know, at 12 o'clock or, you know, 11 o'clock. And then at, uh, you know, 10 PM, they were down the bottom, they were sealed, but they've been in the, the, the heat of the, the shop all day. And man, they had risen up like over an inch. Like they were huge. Ooh. And so as you went to aerate them, you were just like, this is sex. This is sex. I That's awesome. <laughs> no, it's not that. It's not that. But I'm, I like ever since then. I've liked that air that gets in there, and it really does just make things crispy and crunchy and oh, perfect. So we'll see if we can kind of you know see what we can do. That's yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. Like that nice little deep dish, right? I mean, I've been to. So I don't know if I've ever actually had a full blown to Detroit style before. I have been to Chicago. I've had Chicago style. <laughs> Wasn't my cup of tea, right? I mean, it's definitely a different. It's a different type, right? Same with Detroit. Detroit's completely different too. Like, it's yeah. almost. It's. I feel like Detroit's kind of a mixture, maybe, of like a Sicilian, right, and like Chicago style, kind of. I mean, it's. But it, it, the, it's bubbly, right? It's got the cheese underneath, the sauces on top, so it's a little bit like a Chicago. I'm not gonna do that though. I don't. I like the cheese on top, man. Come on, get real. Yeah. Right. Cheese has got to be on the top. It's just yeah. weird. The first time I saw it, it was very weird. It, yeah. it just, I was, I was like, what, what is this? Right. What's going on? Um, I'm just, I just got to get my food camera 
so that you guys can see this dough that I am about to throw in here. Apologies on that. As you know, I wish I, I wish I had a technical team, you know what I mean, to help me out, but cooking at the lake house. What up? Un Peter. That's my boy Peter, who was just uh Peter, what's up, brother? Who was helping out actually on the last show. I, right. I don't know why this isn't working, but we're gonna I'm, we're gonna I'm, see what's going on. I'm dicing up some jalapenos for those who are watching right now who maybe don't know. Uh, I like my jalapenos. Uh, I'm gonna put these bad boys on, spice it up just a bit, just one jalapeno, not too much. Okay, much. okay. Let's do a little something, something for the people. So yeah, oh yeah. So I don't know why this isn't working for me, but it's all good. We are gonna figure it out though. Actually, I don't think I need to do that. Yeah. So I got my dough. So I actually, we both, so here's the thing also, everyone, pizza dough, it's not your pasta dough, a little bit, a little bit different than a pretzel dough as well, right? The pretzel dough, we actually only let rise. I think it was like on our, on the episode, maybe 20, 30 minutes, if that pizza dough, mine has been sitting about a little bit about an, about an, at, at an hour right now. So how long, how long did you let yours, uh, um, poof up? Mine's about two hours, two and a half hours, but I split mine. Um, and that was cause I thought my kids were going to have some and then they bailed on me and <laughs> so whatever, but mine's been a little bit longer. Um, I can't tell we, we looked at each other's, um, I don't know, uh, rises. I don't know what you're going to call them, you know, um, earlier yours was nice. Yours was big. Yours, yours had nope. risen high. It's definitely pretty good i really wish my camera was working right now so everybody but i will be to sure to show because technical difficulties do happen so basically i just got the pizza cut it into two right so here's here's the lovely dough here's one half and then here's the other half covered in flour right there's a little bit of olive oil as well because you put that in the bowl so you don't want it to stick to the sides <laughs> So now I'm going to knead it a little bit, right? Because we don't want to work it too much, right? We don't want to we don't want to get too crazy with the pizza. I mean, it's just you got to let the dough do its work, right? That's let the yeast work and all of that, all that goodness in there. Okay. Yeah, that's awesome. That's funny that you say that. Um, I used to actually uh, a few years back, um, I was unfortunately let go from my job and – I had the opportunity to get back into the restaurant industry and I am wearing said apron right now. I actually used to manage a pizza hut. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, very nice. Uh, that was very interesting, right? A guy coming from New York, I mean, doing pizza hut, it was just a little, it was definitely different, right? Like, cause you're not, the pizza it is, I mean, I don't know if I'm telling all secrets, but I mean, it's probably no secret. It, it does come frozen, right? Pizza Hut is frozen. It comes in the boxes. They settle them out the night before, and then the next day, it's perfect, right? It's, yeah. I mean, it's still, like, it's still, like, for for the pizza that it is, it's not awful, right? I mean, it's, it's would I choose it? Probably not. I mean, I couldn't say the last time I actually had Pizza Hut since I left the place. <laughs> but... So a couple ways you could do it, right? Here we go. Got my nice little pizza mask. I mean, if you want to, you can, I mean, get a nice little toss with it, right? But see, here's the thing. At like Pizza Hut, you don't do like, we don't do this type of stuff there. So basically right. like I got, I got really good. The whole thing is you, you stretch it out, right? Like you're kind of working it, which they do at pizza places too. I mean, it's definitely like not uncommon, you know what I mean? But that's kind of what they do at like that type of pizza place. Right. So what else you got working on there, Scott, you said you got peppers, you got jalapenos that you're, that you're cooking up. Yeah. I'm doing a whole little thing here. You know, when I, when I uh, get my pizza going, I like sausage. I like garlic. Uh, I like jalapenos. So I, I got red pepper, green pepper here, we're, we're not going to go full bore. Cause you know, I can't cook up, you know, full, you know, peppers here. So we're getting a little bit of each, but uh, normally for the family, I do something similar to this. I cook about eight pizzas down at the Outer Banks every year. And this is a version of one of those. Uh, oh, that's awesome. Really, yeah. So I, I love making uh, pizza. 
I, I love the whole process, the dough, the whole thing. We'll see if I, I got a new method this time with my, my baking stone. Uh, I've got some parchment paper. Uh, we'll see if it works. We'll, we'll see if it works. Uh, my stone. Okay. It's a little. It's a little tricky. So we'll see how it goes. But I have pulled this off before. But it's just a new wrinkle. You know, it's it's live cooking. It's the best. You know. Exactly. Exactly. And this this right here, like I mean, if we're just talking about pizza. Like this is one of the reasons, you know, why I really wanted to do a show like this, right? Like, right. Get people together. We talk about. So you're gonna meet, you know. Yeah, we talk about food. I mean, what's 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 wrong with that, right? So, I'm working my dough right now. Like I said, I apologize. My food camera is unfortunately unavailable right now, but I am still going to try to figure it out before the end of the show, so you guys can. Okay. So I guess I could pick a little bit of it up, but as you can see, it's getting there, right? I mean, that is a big. There are a little bit of holes, which happens, right? And you could always just close them up, right? So just take a take a piece of dough from like the outside, cover it up, right? Like it's like a hole in like a what do you call it? Like a pool float or something, right? Just patch it up. That's it. Patch it up, B. Exactly. Uh, I gotta say, uh, shout out Bo McBrayer, Bo McBigtime Big Time on Twitter, uh, underscore in between there. But he he was jelly. He said he was so jelly that was coming on here today. Uh, and he was so excited that I got to come on. So, you know, I know he's been on before. He loves this show. So Yes, I, yes. Bo I is. Oh, yeah. So he's the man, by the way. I love that guy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Bo, you're, you, are, you are definitely missed right now. You're probably sitting at Costco or wherever. I think that's where he works, right? Yeah, he's Just he's probably salivating. Exactly. I know. It's been a little bit since he's been on. I got to get him back on. And he said he definitely would have hopped on tonight because also because – we are making pizza as well, too. So he, he's my my mentor. He taught me all I know. Uh, not all I know, but he did. He, he, he taught me up last time I was over in uh, California last year. Um, I got a question: Are you going to the Fantasy Expo this summer? Yes, I am, my friend. So oh, I will we'll definitely be see you. Then, my guy, I'm going to be there as well. Yup, yup. Were you there last year? No, uh, it was just too COVIDy for London and. You know what we were doing at that time. So now we've all had COVID, and uh, you know, not that it's good, but it's not as worrisome. And London's in a better spot too. So yeah, 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 yeah. Big ups. I've been hearing. I've been following. You know, stuff that you've been posting about. You know, your daughter and everything. So it's great Thank to hear. You. She's yeah, a, man. She's great. Super man. I, I couldn't. She definitely is. Yeah, yeah. I couldn't do. That's what she that's did, man. awesome. What a, what a warrior, you know? How old is she again? She's 11. She's 11. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. So she got it when she was like almost nine. And uh, she just finished her treatment in March right before her 11th birthday. And uh, she is still not vulnerable, but her, her counts are just still low from the, the overall impact. Yup, yup, yup. For a while. Uh, but in September, she won't be. And so, I mean, I'm not worried too much about, about going to Canton. Um, we've all had COVID also. So it kind of, the bloom is off. We didn't, you know, get hit too hard. I was the hit hardest and I'm good. I'm good. You know, so. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. There's Bo. There's Bo in the chat. What's up, Bo? Gary. We got Gary cooking at the lake house. What's up, Joey? My boy, Joey. That's my best bud. We've known each other since birth. We were Love in the it. same crib. Yeah. We live down the road from each other and we're still friends 35 years later. Uh, yeah. Okay. So I got my pizza. So you said you're putting parchment paper on top of your stone. Yes. Are you? Okay. You know what? I'm actually going to give that, I'm actually going to give that a shot as well, my friend. I'll tell you why it's about transferring the dough. Cause I've, I've noticed that my pies are pretty loaded heavy and I don't have one of those big pizza, um, you know, uh, spatulas. So it's, it's a logistics game in my brain. No, I really, I dig it, man. So, all right, I'm going to try to transfer this dough without ripping it, but here's the thing. A oh, little rip, it's okay. It's okay. A little, just a little ripping and tearing. Shout out Tosh.0. If you know, you know. If you don't, it's okay. <laughs> I was never a huge fan of Tosh.0, actually. I, I watched every single episode. I, I was, it was a religion to me. 
because it was so insane, the stuff he could say. Um, oh, it was so ridiculous. So insane. And, and, and he, like, the writers wrote a lot of it. It's not just him, you know. Um, but I think people just kind of see him as the face of it. Um, but, man, yeah, he would just say some crazy stuff on there. That is for sure. I got to remember that this pizza stone was just in the 450-degree oven. So that... Yeah, right here as well. It, my, mine's yeah, so that's heated. really hot. That is really hot. That is really hot. I'm a few steps yep. behind you given the, you know, the fact that I'm kind of mise en place over here. But, ah, mise en, mise en place. Anyone in the, anyone in the chat? T care to care to take a definition? Huh? Mise en place? No? Anyone from their home ec class? They're back in the day? <laughs> I watched MasterChef Australia when I lived in the UK in 2009, 2010. So I learned a lot of things that America does not teach you in regular talking. Ooh, okay. So, yeah. I like it. UK. Awesome. Where were you in the UK? I was I was there for a semester. I was in Taunton, um, which is about an hour south of Bristol. Um, oh, okay. So you were like outside the city-ish. Yes. Yeah, pretty much. It was it was farm country more. So it was a it was a city uh, central. Eighty thousand total people, I think, live there. Um, oh wow. Yeah, and maybe eighty five or so. And I, I didn't dislike any of the folk there. They were nice people for sure. Um, I don't think I would live there, but I would love the UK. Like living in the UK was fun. I really, really enjoyed it. So yes, agreed. I definitely enjoyed the UK as well. Mise en place is definitely life, Bo. That is, yes. that is a fact. Just in, just in, right? Literally in life. Like you said, like we had the, we had this sign up, uh, just sorry, sorry to digress. We can get back to that London really quick. Uh, um, we had this sign up when I was in the kitchen back in the day, one of my first ever jobs as a dishwasher, sous chef, prep chef, whatever. Uh, the key to success and less stress is always prep. Yep. And I've never forgotten that ever. And I do that with everything in life, not even for when I cook. Like, And it's crazy because I, I like manage my life as I would like a restaurant sometimes, you know, and it's, it's weird. It's like it's like a second nature. It's, just, it's crazy. It's but cool. London is great. London is absolutely incredible. Shout out to my boy Murph. Out there, he was one of the first people I interacted with in the entire fantasy industry. Him and uh, him and his boy. Uh, oh my god, I forget his holy crap. Stocks, stocks. That's it, Chris. Yes, uh, they were sitting at a bar, and me and my cousin, we were, um, we did like a little show with them for like thirty minutes, and they were watching Arsenal at a bar while we did a lot while we did a podcast, and it was oh, wow. unbelievable. Uh, yeah, oh yeah, and I was like, wow, okay. This is pretty cool. And then now, shit, now I've known him for four years. I mean, we don't talk as much. Like, I know my man's busy and hey, life happens. But that was four years ago, over four years ago now. That's awesome. Yeah. All right. My Twitter, does your Twitter ever, like, not load for you? Oh, yeah, yeah. You know? It's, it's evil. Yeah. yeah. So I don't know what I don't know what Elon Musk is doing, but he's clearly preventing me from what, showing you my pizza right now. He and doesn't want me to see it. He just doesn't want anyone to see it, right? Like it's kind of annoying. It's just, what's going on, Elon? Like, why, why can't I do this? Um, it's a secret. Yeah. So it's you know what? We're still gonna make it. Okay. So I got a sauce. Normally, I would like to try to make my own sauce, right? But actually, at the right. store, the cheapest route to go, and it's kind of like a cheat code almost. Go to the pizza section. If they have a little pizza section, they sell like little containers of sliced pepperoni. They have a pizza sauce ready and you're paying literally half the price than what you would if you were to go get like a bag of cheese, you know, and then like a name brand pepperoni or something like that. Right. So, so yeah, so I got my sauce. I'm saucing it right now. Okay. Pizza's a little bit bigger than, than I thought, but Hey, it's all good. I'm doing what you were saying. I, I'm taking some of the edges and I'm coming back into the middle. Yup, 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 yup. Got a little bit of. I've got what some people would call a situation. You know, if you're a Jersey Shore person, the situation is occurring. I did Sick. go to the. I did go to college on the Jersey Shore. Actually, I'm originally from New York, as I'm I said. So yeah. I, but how are you a Cowboys fan? It looks like. Dude, a Cowboys, I'm know, still under. I'm still trying to figure that out. I was it a friend. <laughs> 
was it uh <sighs> Joey, if you're if you're still watching, Joey, do you know the answer? Because <laughs> he's he's a Giants fan, and our two other our two other buddies, um, they're both Giants fans. But my buddy Matt, he he was a Cowboys fan, and then he switched, and he he doesn't like saying that he was a Cowboys fan, but he mm. he was he was. Well, I, um, I, have a, I have an origin story for you about my fandom. I'm no longer a fan of any team. Um, but before, I would say I was a Washington football team fan when they were then called the racial slurs. Um, oh, okay. Right. Um, but for a long I, – I stopped being a fan in 2014 is when I stopped being a fan. Um, I had season tickets at the time. I hate Dan Snyder as a, as a human being. Um, and I hope – I mean, you're they, probably not alone. <laughs> man, he would charge like eight bucks for a water in 2007. Like, man, like, what are you doing, bro? I'm trying to not die in your stadium that's got no covering. You know what I'm saying? Like, what the fudge? Like, in, inflation is is don't don't let it don't let it take over just yet. <laughs> I mean, that was 2007. That was crazy. You know? Right? If 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 it was if it was eight dollars or ten dollars for a water right now, then I'll okay, I'd be like for a Dasani, I'm sure. I'll tell you one yeah, time, right? I, stole, I stole a beer <laughs> from a beer guy. He had his little beer thing there, and he was standing there. I walked by him. I just two scooped him. Boom. Just two fingered, grabbed a beer, just like it was so fast. And uh, getting back, <laughs> getting back at the man. Boom. You take that beer vendor. You <laughs> owe him you're like $500 now, I'm sure. I love it. All right. My pizza is down here. I got to aerate it a bit. So it's chilling. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Yeah. See? Aerator. You, so. yeah, man, you got a nice, you got a nice little circle going on with that. Mine is not, and yeah, this, this Twitter, I am completely amazed at how this, at how it doesn't update, and it's unbelievable. It, it's the devil, El Diablo. Here He's we go. I blame okay. you, bro. You know, and he backed out of Twitter too, so he doesn't own anything. He's just a, a come by lately guy, you know. Right? Doesn't he get like not sued, but he's getting yeah, okay. he's getting sued. He's also getting every secretary he's had pregnant with twins, apparently. You know, and, and allegedly, you know, oh. allegedly, allegedly. Okay. All right. So I I went out and got some sauce too. Um, I think I put it back in the fridge. It's from Costco. Hey. There we but go. Only Big Time likes it as well. Uh, Rayos, pretty good marinade. Rayos, I yeah. mean, this New York. I mean, you gotta, you gotta know, you gotta know a guy that knows a guy that knows a guy to get a to get a reservation there. Yeah, and then what I like to do is I'm gonna put the veg in here, right? The 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 uh, the, the peppers and the peppers. I think the peppers and um, garlic in there, right? Okay, okay. And then, so Dave, if you want to. Uh, yeah, I got it working now, Dave. The sausage in. There we go. So we're gonna put those. It's it's not as pretty as I would have hoped, but I mean, I think Scott's looks a little bit prettier than mine. But we're we're getting there. Doesn't have to look. It doesn't have to look perfect as long as it tastes. I mean, it's gonna taste fantastic, right? So I also got some pepperoni. Let's see. Let's see if I still let's see if I still got it, right? I used to be pretty good at making a pepperoni pizza at Pizza Hut. Can you hear an echo? No, I cannot. Okay. All right. All my stuff is in. Oh. Yeah. Keep the towel. Let's throw some extra pepperoni. Why not? Actually, I'm gonna oh. do maybe half. Pepperoni. Actually, the wife wanted the wife wanted cheese, so we're gonna do just douse it with pepperoni. Okay. I have a lot of sauce on my pie. I'm a big sauce guy. I'm not gonna lie. Are you? Okay. Okay. I'm kind of a light. I'm kind of a light sauce. Nothing too crazy, right? Right. It's definitely different. It's a different type, right? Of than than your than like a marinara sauce as well, too, right? For everybody out there, like it's not you. You don't get like it's. You, you put a little bit different, like you put oregano, like I would put oregano in a pizza sauce. I'm not going to put it in my red sauce when I make for meatballs, spaghetti and meatballs, you know, like that's not, I don't do that. You know what I mean? If this is, this is non-traditional. We'll say that nicely. Do not offend anybody who's traditional. Yeah. All right. I'm tossing it in. Um, 
I have the parchment paper. I just want to see. Alexa, set a timer for 12 minutes. And in no way do I work for Jeff Bezos. That's just, this is just, this is the model. This is what we live in now, right? Where we can yeah. do something like that. It's crazy. I understand. I'm going to, I'm going to, this is pretty heavy already. I'm going to put it on the stone and then I'm going to, I'm going to grate my cheese real quick. You know, get my cheese good to go. Okay. Okay. And then. I already got a little bit of a, a blend here, but I'm gonna I'm gonna get the rest of my cheese, you know, parmesaned up, shredded up. I here. like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. You're definitely you definitely are going the extra, and that's the thing too. Like if you if you have the if you have the option of going, either grating your own cheese or you know getting the shredded. I mean, the going grated is definitely. I mean, it's it's the best, right? If you can if you can go that step that step further to make your pro your final product like that much better. Like just why not? Right. Like it just, yeah. this is this really mozzarella that I like to hand grate, you know, and it just, Oh man, it's going to be so good. But I, I yep. got to mix it all up. I got to get it ready to go. I am. I'm Maybe I'll put a little, I'll oh, put a little of this. I'll, I'll put a little of this on my pizza after it's done. Huh? Yeah. Shout out to Bo hot box right there. Bowman well, Bray, I love that gang. Okay. I don't think my camera's picking up what I'm working on here. We... No, we got it, man. I'm seeing that pizza. It looks great. Okay. I'm doing a lot of this, this over here. I'm putting the cheese together, but about to make a move here. Let's see how it all goes. I also have some onions that are cooking over here as well. Can't forget those. I like it. Boys. Yeah. So, so are you a fan of the cooking the onions, right? Getting them all nice and, you know, caramelized and all that. Yes. And then putting them on the, then yes. putting them on the pizza or yes. putting raw ones on the pizza. No, these guys are caramelizing over here. You like that better than putting raw ones on the pizza? Yeah. I like the caramelized ones on the pie. That's my style. Okay. Yep. Yep. You know, that's just me though. At, at, at different strokes, different folks. I'm very uh, chill. Unless you put pineapple on it, apparently then I'm an a-hole. <laughs> I, you can. People can put it on it. I just don't think it's a good topping to put on it. That's all. You know? I am from New York, and I actually do not mind. I just don't like pineapple. it. It's not my style. And you know? We used to – so uh, what did we used to get? I think me and my boy, my boy uh, Coach Sheps out there, the uh, Toilets the Titles guys, um, me and Sheps actually grew up together. We've known each other since – elementary school we used to play football together we played varsity high school everything like all the way growing up and we reconnected like some years ago and and it was great and uh we used to we used to play madden in his basement all the time and i think it was we used to get bacon what was it bacon pineapple it might have been bacon pineapple, pineapple and ham I like bacon pineapple that's yeah bacon Bacon, pineapple, ham, I think we used to get. And I will have to say that was actually a very, very good pie. <laughs> yes. I have to concur about that. Again, it's not something. The oven. The oven's talking to you, right? So you said yeah. you, got a, you got a fancy you got a fancy oven you were mentioning to us before the show. Oh, yeah. It doesn't work. <laughs> so there's that. That's how fancy it is. It, uh... It, it's uh, if you heat it up, the door opens and then the alarm goes off, like you heard just now, driving everyone in the family crazy. So, yeah, gotta love it. Not not the best time, honestly. Hey, but that's good though. At least it lets you know, right? Like, hey, I'm open. You know, like what's going on? Like, yeah, and then it's open like a micro fraction of an opening. It's not even that open. You know. Ooh. So My bad boys. It's not like the door's wide open. It's just a little bit ajar, as they would say. You know. So I like it. A jar. Right. That's that's good. All right. I feel like now my father used to make a joke about that years ago. I'm actually gonna here's what I'm gonna do. I may I feel like I may bust this dough up into two. I still have here dude, here's the rest of the other like the other half of the dough that I had. Like this is ridiculous. Yeah, man. I still have. I could probably make two more pies out of this. I'm going to keep letting it rise for a little. And actually, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put some parchment paper down so that I can transport it, such as Mr. Scott over there did. 
Okay. And then the other one comes out. I got to get this bad boy in. The crust is cooking a little bit, you know? Yeah, yeah. So, onions be damned. Let's get going, gentlemen. Very nice. I think this next one, actually, what I'm going to do, this one may not finish before the end of the shag. Maybe it could. Um, I do have some, uh, I had a little, uh, small little barbecue yesterday, just a couple friends. And I had some, I have some leftover hamburgers that I made raw though. So I may actually just take the raw hamburger meat and just ah. toss it right on a, toss it right on a pizza. I like it. These onions need a little bit of a home here. By the way, shout out to my family who is lying low upstairs, letting me have the, the mid-level, which I normally don't podcast in, obviously being my kitchen. So uh, shout out the fam tonight. Shout out to the nimble number fam. Love those ladies already, but they're oh, sacrificing they for me today. So, all right. Well, hey, they're, they're also going to reap the benefits of it too when that pizza comes out of the oven. <laughs> Oh, I won't share with them, unfortunately. So no, <laughs> no, 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 no. They won't. They don't. You know. Well, my wife might get a taste, but my daughters, I don't know. They don't. They don't yeah. like jalapenos. So. Ah, okay, okay. And see, this is got this it, is the crowning it. achievement over here. I'll show it to you guys when it's done. This is the jalapeno. Ooh. You know, it makes it look beautiful. So. Okay. So. Dave, if you wanna if you wanna show uh show the camera really quick, I'll kind of show. And I'm doing parchment, you know, as Scott actually suggested, because it's easy, right? With parchment, you don't stick to it. It's yeah. you can easily take it and just put it on the pizza stone. Boom, easy peasy, right? Transferable. So All right, we're going in. Parchment's gonna it's gonna keep moving, right? But essentially, you just want to keep pushing it out, right? And then if you get any holes or anything. You can always fix them. Right. Yeah, I'm getting, I'm getting flour everywhere. The messier, the better. Right. Right. It must be done. Exactly. There's no science. Actually, I think baking. This is a science. <laughs> I'm putting 15 yeah. minutes on mine. Ho hopefully, we'll see. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I started. I've I've seen most recipes like call for like 12 to 15. You know what I mean? Depending on like. Like if you're doing like a deep dish, yeah, that's going to probably be a little bit different, right? Cook time's a little different for that. Same with like your Sicilian and whatnot, so. For Scherzer. For Max Scherzer, as they all say. For Ma <laughs> Is he coming back? Is he coming back after the last time? Max Scherzer? And he plays for the Mets, right? Yes, he does. Yeah. He's a crazy man. No, but yeah, he's and he's got man. that – He's. He's got that eye thing too, right? Where like he has two different color eyes. Like it's very, very rare. I mean, it definitely, it definitely helps him on the mound. That's for sure. His name is Mad Max. They call him. The kids that, call him. That that they do. All right, I'm gonna do this pizza. I'm gonna do it with the hamburger. Nice. We are gonna do. We are gonna do it with the hamburger meat. Why not? I'm very satisfied with this. I I, I hope my house doesn't burn down. I'm sure you'll. Hey. Your your oven will tell you if something's going on. It should. I mean, I'm right here. It should let me know it's going downtown. Yeah. You know? Right. I don't know. Canton, man. So how how is uh how's your Scott? Let's we got to give a shout out to Scott Fish. I mean, he's probably not tuning in. Maybe he is. I don't know. But we're gonna give a shout out to Scott anyway. For anybody that doesn't know, Scott runs a ridiculously massive fantasy football. Uh, charity event tournament. I mean, it's what there's three thousand people in it this year. I think. Yeah. Is what I is what I heard. I mean, it's my oh, second it's year. It's ab Whew. We're still only in the ninth round, maybe, of our draft, and I think some have maybe finished. I don't know if they were because yeah. they started off live. How are you like? How are you liking your team? Uh, so let me go. Let me go to my team real quick. And, um, yeah, sure, sure. We can definitely – got to talk a little bit of sports, right? I mean, because that's sure. that's ultimately what connected us. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like that's how yeah. Sven and, and Scott, you know, interacted, right? We, I'm not on stacks anymore. I don't know if you are, but no. it's been a minute since I've no. kind, kind of messed with that. Yeah. No, I can't but. talk about my favorite wide receiver on there in the middle of, you know – 
February or whatever. So. Right, exactly. Like, there's just, there really is. Like, it, you're putting it on Twitter too, but then I don't want to put it in like other play. Like, it's just, yeah. It's too much. So, yeah, so here we go. It so, is. Right, here is, let me get the screen up so I'm looking sexy. All right, here we go. Yeah, yeah, man. Uh -oh. well, I definitely way, want wearing, to see your face. I'm wearing this black Scott Fish shirt because I didn't want to wear the nice new blue one and have a bunch of oil uh, spray on it and ruin it while I cooked. So, um, I just I went with the old classic black Scott Fish shirt from Pink Floyd Division nice, last nice. year, which I was in. I was in the Pink Floyd Division last year. So I was in Earth, Wind, and Fire last year, and I, dude, I was in the top fifty the entire season. That's awesome. Like I was dominating last year, and it was one week if I did not. But uh, but our man, um, who was it? Daddy's home. Shout out to Daddy's home. Uh, he represented us in the finals, I think. But if I would have, I don't know, I would have had a very, very, very good shot at actually coming in like top 10 of the entire thing. Couldn't believe the team I drafted. I didn't get injured, like zero injury issue. Yeah. Like it was just like, I was like, is this really happening? <laughs> but what's, what, what spot did you, uh, what spot did you draft from? 106 in the Silver Spring Division here in Maryland. That's where I'm from. And I was born in okay. Wheaton at Silver Spring Hospital. Uh, Wheaton Regional Hospital in Silver Spring. Sorry. Uh, but that's. You know, not here nor there. But here's my team. Uh, I'm very excited. Pick from the sixth spot. I went Joe Burrow. Uh, and then I went Jamar Chase. So I stack attack wow. with Burrow and Chase from the start. That was the first thing I did. That's well, one hell of a stack right there. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I, I'm so glad I got it. Um, came back up Tua because you got to have a second quarterback like right away. Um, yeah. yeah. I know. It's terrible. No, no, I'm saying I'm 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 gonna tell you my second quarterback after you're after you're done. All right. Then fourth round, I went Mike Evans, dude. I'm so excited about Mike Evans. Okay. This year. He's gonna score so many the touchdowns. The guy does it. He's consistent. He's he's awesome. Like he really is. Like Alexa, stop. He's very consistent, and he you yeah. know what you're gonna get. He's an incredible best ball. But he still does do it week after week. I mean, maybe he'll have a clunker, right, here or there. Right, but right. the he's guy is targets. unbelievable. Yeah. It, he's going to get targets. I've been doing some deep diving on the Patriots offense from last year. I'm sorry, the, uh, the Bucks. We got a little Tampa, Tampa Bay. Tom Brady slipped the tongue there with the, the uh, Patriots there. Uh, but, no, uh, a little bit of the, the Tampa Bay offense. And, man, their wide receiver scored so many points last year. So, like, 800. Okay. So, here we go. Oh, let me see. Ooh. Sorry. Final product came out of the oven. This is insanely Ooh. hot. 450 degree oven. Look at that. that Again, is it sexy looking? That looks so I mean, good. The, the, the crust is a little bit. So also another, if you guys, if you want to take it a step further, right, what you could do, and this is how we made the pretzels and we'll get back to your team in a second, uh, Scott, but, uh, Get some boiling water, put a little bit of baking soda in it, get that water, take some of that, and actually rub it on the outside of your crust. Put the coarse salt, you got yourself a pretzel crust. Mm. Mm. Huh? That sexy as yeah. hell. Yeah. I love that. I love that's pretzels. Whole, that's, a, that's a whole nother level. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I used to crush pretzels. I will say the one thing, I used to make a killer, and Peter was there, actually, my buddy Peter. Um, we were going to see, I forget, we were going to see maybe one of the Avengers or something like that. And I just got off of pizza and I just got off of work and I made a stuffed crust with pretzel crust, pepperoni, something like it, it oh. was, it was fire. Dude, I'm high As hearing you talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> Mike Evans in the fourth. Who else? What else yes, you got? After that, I went, you know, I, I, I bought the Brees Hall hype that I started okay. myself. When I wrote for, not started, but I wrote for the Sports Gambling Podcast Network about his potential. And I believe what I wrote. And so um, I had him around RB17 and I picked him at RB17. So I didn't feel like it was a reach. Um, it's my RB1, but it, you'll see a pattern uh, as I go. After Brees Hall, I went uh, Mike Williams. Okay, which, okay. I, he could be the, the wide receiver one there for, for Justin Herbert, which I really love. Uh, and then after that, I went with my guy, Darnell Mooney. So I felt like okay. I have a nice little set. Jamar Chase, Mike Evans, Mike Williams, Darnell Mooney. I picked up Jalen Tolbert later on. 
Uh, just my last Ooh, pick. Ooh, I love Jay. I think Jalen Tolbert's going to be a stud. Not because I'm a Cowboys fan. Right. But he's going to have opportunity. Michael Gallup's coming back from injury. Right. Dal Dalton Schultz, a tight end, but, like, they run a lot of plays. I mean, they – oh, Jalen Tolbert, man. That's mm. – I drafted him in a, in a dynasty uh, this, this past uh, – I did it today. Oh, <laughs> love it. Love it. I love that pick. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully nobody from the South Park division is watching right now. Yeah. Let me just say this. <laughs> I, I drafted him in the dynasty today in a, in a league called the multiverse with Shane Barrett uh, as our co-commission Smokey. You know, Smokey, he's a, the commission as well. Uh, you draft two, you're in two leagues, multiverse five and six, right? And you go against the same people and you have two different drafts. You can trade draft picks across leagues, but you cannot trade players across leagues. So you can say, I'll give you my fourth in multiverse one and a first round in multiverse two for Jamar Chase, whatever, right? What? I'll just say this. I have won three out of the four multiverse five and I uh, multiverse five twice, multiverse six once, second in multiverse six the first year. I've won three out of the four multiverses. So I'm the champ two years in a row, and I just got Jalen Tolbert at the end of the second round. So I get just a rich get richer, you know? Like it's just it's that's gross. Awesome. Yeah, in your face, that's everybody. That's awesome. Division. Yeah. I'm so fan. Gary, Gary is totally in the South Park division. What pick what pick do you have, Gary? What do we well, I don't even know where we're at right now? So mine mine started off. Um, I got I took uh, Russell Wilson with the tenth. I started I had the tenth, right? So I went oh, Russell I, Wilson. I, Justin Jefferson, nice. uh, Kyle Pitts. I wasn't, I'm not, I, don't, I just, I don't know how I feel about Kyle Pitts, but I figure what, like he's going to be peppered, right? We used to say peppered on our podcast back in the day when I had one with my brother and cousin. Oh, so Gary, Gary, my man, he's got the ninth, so he could snipe me. And he has sniped me, I think, got a couple of picks too. He's had some solid picks, Gary. Definitely I like have. Gary, um, by the way. He's a, he's yeah. a special thief, you know, um, just he's the elder statesman of the thieves, you know? So nothing I need wrong. to get a thief shirt. I don't, I don't have one. You don't have, dude, come on, you gotta get one, bro. So, uh, yeah. Mm. Cheers okay. to, this is, uh, Amber Ale. It's called K Kapowik. And, uh, it's from I'm actually going to keep this. Brewing. Cheers. Yeah, I get another one. Oh, Awesome. Actually, maybe I will crack a beer with you. Why not? I'm just going to keep it. You know what? I'm actually going to throw the pizza back in because the stone, I'm not used to really cooking with the stone. So I want the bottom to get a little bit, you it's know what I mean? Stone's a beast, you know? It is. Really right? Do it a couple more minutes. So what I got down here is that Dave just took it off, but uh, uh, hamburger meat. On top of this second pizza. So that's going to be fire. Um, so, yeah, so I got Kyle Pitts. And then who did I take with my fourth pick? I think it was, yeah. I wasn't, it was either Kyle Pitts. I forget who else I was going to take. Um, but then I'm like, you know what? Now I don't have to worry about a tight end, right? I mean, obviously I can get another one later on. But uh, yeah, I got, I think I took T. Higgins next. Ooh, love it. Um, love it. Alvin Kam Alvin Kamara, nice. Who else? I don't know. Fifth I got round? a couple. Fifth round for I Alvin. Could, yeah, I mean, it stinks that he's suspended for the first six games, but is he yet? Has he been? I don't. I don't know. And it, I mean, hey, if if he is, hopefully, I have enough that'll keep me afloat. You know what I mean? Right. right. Uh, Kamara. Who else did I take? I can't remember. I did take I did get Elijah Mitchell, I think, in like the end of the seventh round or something like that. So I thought that value was pretty solid. I mean it's it's his it's his backfield right now, but with the yeah. Niners, we never know. It's it's gonna it could be this other rookie that they just with like two names or whatever, right? Like yeah. Davis something or isn't it? Yeah. Uh yeah, and then I took uh Davis Mills as my QB two because every quarterback was gone. Like yeah. literally it was either Davis Mills, Zach Wilson, who I actually don't mind Zach Wilson this year for some odd reason. Yeah. I think he could be sneak, sneakily good. I don't, I don't know. I mean, they definitely got more weapons for him. They drafted Brees Hall because cl clearly they're going all in and Shala knows 
Like he's like, no, I'm not. I'm coming to I'm coming to Jersey, not New York. And I'm gonna and I, I want to do this right, especially in this division, like where it is essentially Buffalo's division to lose. Even though right. he can mess them it up. damn pa- them damn Patriots, though. I mean, holy crap, Mac Jones. Like I gotta give I gotta give major props to Mac Jones. If you're watching Mac, you know, appreciate you. Um, Love it, Mac. Thanks for coming by. But yeah, right. Uh, but I couldn't believe that they actually like that was unbelievable. Like he he does look he looks good. He looks good. Well, but. You know- all my running backs, except for one, are in the AFC East, so I'm not going to talk any shit about them. Buffalo, New York. Because he, so I, I, I went Brees Hall, and then Damian Harris, James Cook. I and want Damian I, I, Harris. I, I, veer, I veered off and got Ronald Jones because I think he's a sneaky play. Uh, and then uh, – I, I can either – conf- Ooh, okay. Well, there you go. So, again, Brees Hall, Michael Carter, I mean – I got but that's the thing too that, that I thought was interesting is that like when they drafted Brees Hall, like yeah, okay, he's talented. Obviously, there's no taking that away from him. But like Michael Carter actually looked like he looked decent last year, which is the yes, odd thing about why everybody's already thinking that Brees Hall. I mean, maybe there's something I don't know where everybody's just like, but I think Michael Carter's still going to be involved, or am I just making that up? Right? Like, I, I don't. <laughs> no, he, he definitely will be involved. You know. Um, I think last year the Jets had, and I mean, I did, I did the research, and I should actually, you know, look and see, um, you know, what the Jets were doing with their running backs. They they weren't terrible in terms of their fantasy points in running backs last year. You know, when he had, got the ball towards the end of the season, I think he was insanely efficient. Yeah, they had three hundred and fifty points. You know, three hundred and fifty points. It's not terrible. You know, um, but my my guess is that four hundred and twenty touches turned more into like four hundred and maybe 75 touches to the backs just because, you know, uh, they're not going to throw it as um, – they're not going to be as behind, I think. I think they'll be in more games. Uh, I think they will be more balanced attack this year. Not that they'll be winning. But, I mean, it's all they did last year to, to Tampa Bay. Tampa Bay's not terrible. They, they, uh, they got a guy named Tom Brady, you know. So. Right? They're no, they're, they are no slouch of a team. No. No slouches. All right. I got to see if the bottom of this bad boy is done. It does not look to be done yet. I think I might need to go even higher. Yeah, and that's the thing too, right? Like mine is kind of – I think the bottom definitely got a little bit – because you could – another thing what you could also do too is I guess with this parchment paper, right, we could even take it off and probably put it on the rack actually. Like I've never – typically, you know, you go to a pizza place and they put it on – like you'll, they'll put it on the sheet tray, right, get it all nice and and then you'll take the sheet tray off and then it'll cook directly on top of the stone on the on the the actual yeah. concrete within the actual pizza oven, right? So that you, I mean, you get that nice crisp on the bottom. Like it just, oh yeah. I got pepperonis falling off of them right now, and so I gotta. Ooh, I got I like I, 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 like rescue missions to like save a pepperoni. Like, no, brother, you will not be lost. No pepperoni left behind. Look yeah. At that. If the bottom needs to be cooked, do I put it at the, the top or do I put it at the bottom of the oven? I put it at the top, right? So that you can get the air. At least this is my thought. Again, like I'm this is a different world of putting pizza, you know what I mean, in your own oven than an actual like pizza oven, let's say. Um, but I would put it at the top, right? Because you want that airflow to get underneath it, right? And to crisp that yeah. crisp that bad boy up because it's such a hot temperature. I mean, you're what? Like, you're? Did you put yours at 450? I put mine at 475 now. Oh, yeah. See, like, even I mean, it's anywhere between 450 and 500, mind you, depending on your oven, obviously, and and whether or not you want your house to turn into a sauna. Which I am in Texas right now, and it's been 100. I think it was 110 today. Oh, so that shoot. that was that's cool. Yeah, tomorrow's going to be 111, so that's even cooler. Um, Global warming yeah, is not been, real though, bro. Don't be fooled. No, you're right. Global warming doesn't exist. Man no. bear pig is not a is not a real thing, right? Al Gore right. doesn't know what he's talking. About. <laughs> man bear pig is oh. a so what is man he bear know? pig? Yeah, right. <laughs> Come on, Al Gore. I really want to throw this other this this other pizza. Like it just looks here. I'm actually just gonna take the camera and I'm gonna show. Winter just came over. She thought the pizza was ready. Little does she know it's got a few more minutes. There's the other pizza that I'm hopefully going to throw in there soon. Oh, that's nice. 
yeah. That's sick. The benefits of having a, deta a detachable webcam, right, too, I guess. Yeah. I so I got this bad boy. I hope it's a lot. Yeah. The bottom's not too bad on this. I wish it was a little bit, you know, I wish it was a little bit crispier on the bottom, but honestly, I'm actually very happy with what, with how this pizza came out. I just need to work on my cutting game. I know Bo has one of those, uh, I don't know if you have one too, the, uh, the, the rolling, the chop thing. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, I do. I do not have one of those. Yeah, that's what, that's what I used to use at Pizza Hut. And mind you, oh man. I got I don't I don't toot my own horn. I mean maybe from time to time, but I got damn good. I got damn good at cutting pizzas. Holy crap. At, at Hungry it, Howie's we just had rollers. We didn't we weren't the we weren't <laughs> Yeah, that's that's traditional, but honestly, having used one of those, it takes off like a couple seconds, dude, and you could you yeah. could literally chop a pizza, 12 slices, boom. Yeah. Five seconds out. Like there was, there was this one, there was this one event that we did cause we were near schools. Right. So a lot of schools would we get like big orders and stuff like that, like hundred to 150 pies. You know what I mean? They would want. And like, yeah. there was this one, they wanted 10 slices. So not your traditional, you yeah. know what I mean? So like, dude, I had to, I, I think I, I think I cut 125 pizzas in about 45 minutes or something like that. 10 slices because it's very different than actually, you know what I mean? In half, half, yeah. half, half, right? Everything's easy. The 10 was, it just, yeah. That's weird. That's so Yeah, weird. man. It was, it was interesting. It definitely was like, I was like, guys, I'm going to need back. Like you guys got to back me up. Cause it was like, yeah. I was like three weeks into the job too. You know, That's first crazy. time manager. They're like, who's this clown coming from a finance job? <laughs> F this Sven guy. He's a dude. Yeah, right? All right. I am going to take one of these slices off. I'm going to do a pepperoni as well. So I got cheese. All right. I think we're done. Oh, mm. baby. Mm. Mm. I mean, that. you could cook a little bit more, though. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, yeah if you gotta if you if you gotta keep it in, I mean, I'm just showing my delicious cheese and pepperoni right here. I I I'm, I'm the pizza will will be shown for posterity's sake for sure. You know, I'll be eating this mamma jamma. I'm not eating in like 17 minutes, so <laughs> I mean, that bottom it's, is really hot. That bottom was really really hot. Did you touch it? I did. I just took oh. it off. Get some water. Get some water. Ooh. Nah, I got, I got that. I got, as they say, chef hands. No, I do not. All right. Pizza stone. I am putting this other pizza on there. I've got fat man hands. Nothing wrong Soft with that, sir. Supple. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I'm throwing this one in too. So what I'll do is I'll post. I'll be sure to post. Um, Cooking at the Lake House. Really appreciate it. Thank you, my man. Yeah, thank you. Or lady, whoever. Friend. Thank you, Cooking at the Lake. Exactly. Thank you, friend. Okay. Can I show the, the audience if you're, if you're saying that? If you, you're not, it's not a drunkard thing, but if, if you're drinking a beer, just the way the dynamics of a beer work out of a can, it comes over the lip and it hits the edge of this underneath and it, it creates the, the, the fizz and the g -g 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 too much. Not good. No, mm -hmm. no, no. So speed bump <laughs> it up. Speed bump it up for Jesus or whoever you love. You know, for for Muhammad or for whoever, right? Speed bump it up. Oh, okay. And what it does is it it rolls off the tip of the the beer into the tip of your tongue without the goog 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 of the turnover. Like if you think of the dynamic, so it hits that little it's like it oop. ramps it up instead yeah. of going boom and over, which is stupid. A design that you can get for trying to get it out and not carbonate a carbonated beverage back into your system. So it's just a it's just a it's a little Maryland thing from when I was in high school. 78 69,000 years ago, you know. So All right. I guess I'll I guess I'll have one. I'm going to go grab a shiner actually. Oh, okay. You guys can oh, good. You guys can still hear me, but you can't here. see me. I think I think it might be great. I'm kind of in the I'm in my garage now. Let me see. I'm going to get a shiner. Oh, I love shiners. 
Yeah, this one, this case actually has some pretty, uh, they were giving, they had like specials um, at this uh, Winco right around the corner from me. And it was like a pack of like white wing. I don't know if you've ever had any like, you know, if you've ever gone like branched out of the Shiner world, right? So yeah. it has this like this Krolsch, which is awesome. This raspberry one, which is very good for a hot day. It's pretty good. I mean, honestly, anything besides water, I guess, on a hot day is not really going to. But yeah, so this is the raspberry. And then there's a white wing, which is kind of like a Hefeweizen. I'm gonna Almost, look for those. I've yeah. never had one of those. They're not, they're not bad. And I get them like I just got Shiner. They had like a Texas, it was like pecan ale or something like that. There was like s'mores, mm. um, like a trail mix one or something. Like it just some of them are just crazy. I mean, a good old regular Shiner. There's one that I don't know if it's still on the market. I have not found it in years. It was why it's called Wild Hair. Mm-hmm. Oh my God. By far the best Shiner, in my opinion. Haven't seen it in years though. So if you, you like happen to come across Shiner Wild Hair, <laughs> what's up? Do you like the Christmas Shiner? Shiner like to do a little Bach, you know? Oh, the the Shiner Cheer. Yeah. Love Shiner Cheer. Yeah. So good. Love yeah. Shiner Cheer. But my pie is chilling here and resting. Okay. Um, I've, I've got a, a loose pepperoni that's encrusted in cheese. It tried to escape. Oh my god. It did not escape. Sorry. Escaped right right into your mouth, sir. Oh, my God. That was so good. I'm, I'm really excited. It's not probably going to nope. be edible on show, unfortunately. So you got to check out the after show, the after party, where I have a heart attack eating this, and I live stream from the hospital. I mean, this is a place to be. <laughs> oh, oh, I forgot my tight ends. It's got fish. My tight ends, as you, as you munch down, my tight ends are – uh, Mike Kosecki in the 10th round paired him up with Tua. 10th round? Yeah, really? Round. And then I got Albert O in like the 13th round. So Okay, okay. He, he, here's how I'm thinking about – I'm a DFS guy. That's what I do. I mean, I play, I play yep, fantasy. Yep. I'm a, I, I won like a 1000 bucks in fantasy last year in, in leagues, right? Multiverse, a couple, a couple of other, you know, whatever. And thank you, sir. Thank you. Um, but I'm a DFS guy because I've won way more money in DFS. You know, I've won, you know – you know, six, seven, eight thousand in defense with a five thousand cash once, which was amazing. I scored like two hundred fifty-one points, something like that. And that that oh, would have won the Millie wow. Maker, as I like to tell Bo. Um, but the way that you do DFS is you stack. I mean, this is how stacks work, right? So you're either gonna I, hit or you're not, right? You're you're either right, all right, in or you're right. not. All in or not, exactly. Yep. And I'd rather yep. go out and lose with Jamar Chase and Joe Burrow a bad game in the playoffs then three touchdowns against Kansas City. If you had him that week, you're going to win the whole week. You know, so yep. It's, yep. Win or lose, I'm not chasing that game. I'm chasing the upside that that game presented in him and T. Higgins. I love it. If I could have got a double stack, I would have done it, man. Oh, your mother. I love it. It's just, it's, it's good. I, I have, I think I, in one other dynasty too, my wide receivers are, I think you have to start, I think it's two wide receivers and mm. they're both, it's Justin Jefferson and T. Higgins in the dynasty. Yeah. Dude, it's moving. I'm just very so, sexy. It, it, it just, how's the speed bump? Did you, does it work for you? Did you get, cause you got to drink a little bit before you do the speed okay. bump. Okay. So where is it? What side do you do it on? So here's so the, right the here mouth. In the very front. Um, I'll, I'll, okay. I'll, I'll do it on camera, right? So everyone can see. So this is an empty beer, right? But you want to do it right here in the front of your beer where you're going to drink it. And you take two, two thumbs. And you, let me put it in front of the camera. Oh, camera. Oh, here you go. And you just go like that. And you're, okay. you're inverting it. So you're creating a ramp, if that makes any sense. And then it doesn't glug, glug, glug. It, it, it comes out a lot clearer. And you can drink a little bit more without burping and farting and just being an asshole in general. So that. That may have just it, it it went it really honestly it's crazy how much of an actual like difference it really did like you noticed it though and I was like that's crazy. I, I drank like a million beers in high school. Like that's what I did. <laughs> I, my thesis, I can tell you, was this the speed bump. So, you know, I should go on Shark Tank and sell it for a million dollars. Right. Know? I mean, hey, people sell their air guitars on eBay. So, I mean, anything is possible, right? The pet rock. Come on, man. The pa- 
Oh man. No, this this has been great, man. How's your pizza look? Because it looked like fire when you showed it, by the way. It's awesome. I'm I'm going into the pepperoni and I just feel really bad for everybody else. Like, you know what I mean? That's watching. And I can't eat it. You know what I mean? Like we're not in 4D just yet, right? Like I guess it'd be awesome if we can make the product and then you can like have it in your you know, like if I get the list. Yeah. Which is mean, but right? I don't like it. I, <laughs> F you, viewer. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Wind it back. Bring it back. You know. No, uh, this is great. And and for me, uh, what I like about my pie is it, it's got veggies in it everywhere. And so this is the thing. You're eating like cheese that. and meat. Uh, let's just be honest. Right? It's not the best for you, but mine's got onions. It's got jalapenos. It's got red peppers, green peppers. Tomato sauce, a lot of tomato sauce, extra tomato sauce, even you know. So I'm trying to to give a whole meal. Oh, yeah, get some of that. Yeah. Bo is on my pizza. Yep, Bo is going to be on your pizza. Oh yeah, Bo is take that. It, translate that however you want to. Bo is is squirting on my pie. All I can say. That's all I can say. Mm. By, by the oh, way, yeah. I do have to say, you know, it, it seemed, you know, not a basic at first, but just kind of like pizza, like yeah, pizza. But this has been much more than pizza, my friend. Uh, it's been a culinary yep. experience of learning about each other and about like kind of where we derivated from, and to, to find another friend, a brother, a smart intellectual who worked at a pizza place and and understands how it all works and just, I mean, puts it together. Uh, that's cool. And Bo told me that you had a lot of experience and that I was going to learn a lot today from you. And I said, I wanted to learn a lot. And, uh, this has been awesome, man. Like this is, and I'm not trying to wrap your show up, but I, I didn't see it. So no, no, that's, that's yeah. totally fine. Honestly, I yeah. was probably about to anyway, but like, this is, I really can't thank you enough for coming on. And I mean, I had an absolute blast, right? Like, Hey, you taught me, man. I tried the parchment paper on this, you know yeah. what I mean? Instead of doing the cornmeal, like I'm uh, probably, if I make another one, I'm going to do a little cornmeal on the bottom of that. I'm going to try it, but at least yeah. I wanted to try this parchment paper. I wanted yeah. to see what happened and it, and it actually worked. It's easy. You can transfer, like it's not going to stick. I mean, that's what parchment paper is for. Well, it, here's the key. And this is the thing about it is that I was going to make another pizza tonight. And so just like you did, the parchment paper, paper makes it easy so I can make one pie for the fam, one pie for me, whatever it is. That's kind of why I had it all set up this way. I had the cornmeal ready to go. Uh, you know, I'm not going to lie. Uh, I was ready to do that too um, because it was just a one pie shop. But as soon as the family situation came, I had to pivot and then it was already there. And, you know, but, uh, you know, that and the speed bump, man, we're two for two. You know, I'm not going to lie. It's amazing. It really is. Like, it's, it's unbelievable. It's a very educational show, right? We eat good food. We hang out. We have some laughs. And we make fun of Bo, you know, and then it's just, yeah. it's, and that's, that's it. I mean, we make, you know. You're, you're, make you're like, you look like a skinny bow, you know, and I kind of look like, like a really hot European bow. So, you know, there's that. So we're going to, I mean, well, we're going to have to do a picture in Canton where <laughs> yeah, we're, we're going to have to do something. We'll just do skinny bow, bow, Scott. and then Scott. Fat, fat, <laughs> fat or bow. Back to being fat bow. Again. I love so. it. I love it. Appreciate everybody viewing in, guys. I really can't thank everybody enough. The chat was on it was amazing awesome. i really like this this is probably the most active chat i think on any show that i've had so far and i truly appreciate it it's just it makes the show more not like interactive definitely but it also it creates it creates more conversation with you know questions and everything like that like oh what do you guys like you know what i mean like let us know yeah. and if you happen to make pizza and if you guys want to know the recipe feel free reach out to me on uh, on twitter uh fantasy Sven. you can reach out to uh to scott actually he has the recipe now too um at nimble w numbers be sure to follow him dfs dfs is coming around the corner for nfl be sure to follow him Ooh. great great content for dfs uh follow me on instagram as well Sven cooks food be sure to hit that like button see this thumb be sure to hit it that's it it's just a it's it's a click you could use your mouse or you could use your finger because I know you're either watching on your phone or on a computer. So hit that like, hit that subscribe button in between media content coming all the time, every single day. You got stuff, fire stuff. As as my boy LQ would say, fire content only. That Love pizza LQ. looks awesome. Dude, the steam. Oh, my God, the steam that's coming off of that. It's Ooh. so hot. I can't eat it. It's ridiculous. I don't want to die. 
I always burn my mouth, by the way. I just, I go to wherever I pick up my pizza, immediately get it, immediately eat a piece and go, oh, 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 oh that was great. Do it nope. every time. I'm not going to do it on here because my wife is probably going to give me shit. So I can't have that. And I'll end with this. I'm going to ask you a question and then Dave, we can end the show. Scott, what's the best part? What's the best part of a pizza? I mean, if you can make the first bite half of the of, or, or a third, of, a fourth of the whatever, like most of the piece, that's the best. Like you can take the, the first bite. And the first go, oh, bite. Yeah, yeah, it just is. It's got everything. The first, you want. the heat, the meat, the the the, the cheese, the the all oh, the goo. It's everything. I just I love it. Yeah. I'm so happy that you said the first bite. Like that is exactly like, and I don't care what anybody says. If you're a weirdo and you eat the crust first, I don't even what. Like, we don't we can away. help you. We can help you. Mm. <laughs> but the first bite, and you got to fold it in half too, New York style. You know, that's that's what no, you got to do. Funny. So it did not. It, it couldn't fold in half. It was gonna fall apart. But oh, it's hot. And say exactly, it's very hot, right? It's different. You know what I mean? You gotta let that let let that bad boy cool down, right? So it burn uh, my mouth. I'm not gonna. Lie. Hopefully we don't see Scott in the hospital. You know what I mean? If he's doing his live stream from there, we know why, but hopefully we do not see it. <laughs> He'll give us an update in 24 hours. <laughs> but appreciate everybody tuning in. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let's go. Let's, let's go.